Hello and welcome to GVFB News. I'm your host Jennifer Duffy and today I'm here with Lauren Peake, GVF Project Coordinator and also uh, the head of the Climate Change Task Force which was developed about a year ago and opened to GVF partners and it serves to inform them about various climate change uh, issues. Recently, Lauren and the Climate Change Task Force members visited Exelon's Limerick Generating Station. Lauren, can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Sure. Thank you, Jenny. So we attended a tour at Exelon's Limerick Generating Facility, as Jenny had said, uh, in order to learn more about nuclear energy and the positive impacts on the environment, which is essentially zero uh, CO2 emissions into the environment. So just overall about Exelon, they um, have over 5.4 million retail electric customers, in, both in Pennsylvania and in Illinois. And they have a vast portfolio of different generating um, uh, streams, such as nuclear, hydro, fossil units, and other um, forms of generation for electricity. So um, at the Limerick site itself, they have two generating um, nuclear generators. Unit 1 was established in 1986 and Unit 2 was established in 1990 and the type of reactor is a boiling water reactor. So on a typical day the site uh, with both generators going at the same time can pr generate power for over 2.2 million average homes on, on one day. So basically how it works is uh, they use uran uranium and it produces nuclear fission, which produces a lot of heat. So with the heat, uh, it produces water, um, it heats water, which then produces steam, and that's what turns a turbine, which then goes to the generator and it creates electricity. So when you see the big smokestacks at Limerick, it's actually not smoke, which a lot of people might think, it's really water vapor and the uh, end result of cooling the water down that's been heated and spins a turbine. So, um, like I said, it's the environmental relevance for the Climate Change Task Force is that it's zero CO2 emissions. And the one pellet um, that is used to create um, energy is equivalent to three cans of, um, three can barrels of oil one, one ton of coal, 2.5 tons of wood, and 17,000 cubic, cubic feet of natural gas. So um, if you're interested in seeing pictures from our tour, you can check out our, on our website, which is gvftma.com, under our multimedia link. There are, are photos on our Flickr page from the tour. So it was very educational. I uh, learned a lot about nuclear energy, which I wasn't too, uh, to informed about so and would you recommend uh, a tour like this to anybody else um, I think it's a good tour for say uh, if you're a little weary about nuclear energy I know um, I don't know specifics but I know gover the government is looking into alternative forms of uh, energy and that's an issue now just with everybody so uh, the tour is very educational uh, they actually have a, it's very secure which some people may be afraid with uh, certain terrorist ideas but it's uh, we were informed is very they are continually do security upgrades and regular drill training for all of their employees there and a lot of the security guards are previous Mil had previous military experience. So, thank you, Lauren, for uh, sharing with us your experience at uh, Exelon's Limerick Generating Station. Um, as always, if anybody has any questions, you can always contact uh, Lauren directly on our website at www.gbftma.com. And if you are a partner of GBF, I encourage you to attend our next Climate Change Task Force, which is Wednesday, March. 24th at 8.30 a.m. at the Upper Marion Township Building.